Welcome to UIC in Chicago. Housing is an important part of your time here in the United States, and there are many different housing options you can choose from. The first thing you need to do is decide which type of housing is best for you, on campus or off campus. Both have pros and cons you should consider before deciding, as both come with a contract or lease you will have to sign. On-campus housing is great for meeting new people and shortening your commute to class or work. It's common in the United States for undergraduate students to live on campus in residence halls, though graduate student housing is available on campus as well. Be aware that select residence halls require UIC students to also register for meal plans and charge a daily fee if you stay during winter break. On-campus options include furnished student residence halls and short-term guest housing on the east, south, and west sides of campus. There are many different styles to choose from, including single or double traditional style rooms with communal bathrooms, as well as apartment style suites. On-campus housing contracts are typically signed for one academic year and may require a deposit and application fee. For more details and rates on campus housing options, visit UIC's Campus Housing website. Off-campus housing provides diverse housing and neighborhood options to immerse yourself in the Chicago community. Keep in mind, more affordable options could be further from campus making commuter times longer, and most apartments come unfurnished. It is common for graduate students and PhD students to live in off-campus apartments. Off-campus options include apartment or house rentals and are not affiliated with UIC. You can rent a private apartment or choose to live with roommates. Utilities are usually paid monthly by you and can include heat, electricity, and internet. The Commuter Student Resource Center provides guidance on finding off-campus housing. It is also possible to contact a real estate agent or apartment agency to assist you through this process. Agents act as an intermediary between you and the apartment owner. They are able to recommend apartments and negotiate rent or conditions at no additional cost to you. Visit the Commuter Student Resource Center's website for recommended apartment listings and agencies. USC Student Legal Services is also available to assist with any questions or concerns you may have with your lease. Housing terms like landlord, deposit, and lessee can be confusing. So be sure you understand all of the terms used in your residence hall contract or apartment lease before you sign, so you know exactly what is expected from you. When researching apartments, ask questions about the unit to make sure you are fully informed before signing a lease. If you decide to choose on-campus housing, submit an application online. Students can apply for housing as soon as they are accepted to UIC. There is no deadline for applications, but we encourage students to apply as soon as possible after acceptance into the university. Assignments are based on the date the application fee and deposit were received. Building and room preferences are subject to availability. Contracts for on-campus housing assignments will be sent out around the end of May for fall and the beginning of January for spring. Students are billed through their UIC account the same as their tuition. Off-campus housing is not affiliated with UIC, so if you decide to live off-campus, you will need to submit an application to the landlord or management company of the apartment you choose, which usually requires a fee. They will run a credit and background check. Since most international students do not usually have a former residence in the U.S. to run the credit and background check, you will need to show proof of status and funding by providing a copy of your visa, bank statement, and school information. Once approved, you will be given a lease agreement that both you and the landlord will sign. Leases are agreements in writing that will usually last one year. They can usually be extended if you decide to stay longer. Rent payments are due monthly, usually at the beginning of the month. Move-in dates are typically scheduled for the beginning of the month as well. For a list of key websites, see the resource page associated with this video. Let us know if you have any questions and good luck on your housing search.